All right, guys, let's check out a new release from RZE Watches. It's funny, I just received my RZE production model from this one when I did the uh, prototype video. These were just released. You can still pick these up. I'll put a link down below. But these are automatic. But the one I'm going to show is the Valor, which is an interesting thing. They kind of recognized Travis and the gang over there at uh, RZE. They noticed a little bit of a a hole in a uh, segment there where there's it's the Seiko Mecha Quartz chronograph movement in a titanium case and then they also do a hardness treatment treating to the case uh, whether it's this black one or there's some other colorways too and that brings them up to 1200 Vicar so it's scratch resistant lightweight this thing only weighs 80 gram on this I believe FKM uh, rubber strap which is a great pairing with this black one for sure. So let's get into the specs on the watch for sure. This is a, I got a few measurements here, okay? So on the tachometer bezel here, which sits inboard of the watch case, the, the bezel's 40 millimeter. The case on this, they're saying 42. Now I did measure 42 basically from here to about there. So, and I think that's fair because it excludes the integrated crown and pusher guard on the right side. Now, if you do measure like the total width of it, it's closer to like 44. But like I said, that's not fair because we're measuring the crown guard essentially. So thickness only 12 and a half millimeter, sapphire crystal AR coating, 20 millimeter lug width. And you see you have a nice angular case shape, much like the previous one here. You can see some similarities. So it's kind of nice to see similar design cues across their lineup. I do like the uh, screw down crown, 200 meter water resist. I like the color on this, this particular one with the black with the pop of orange. And then I like the way they did the pushers. They're very, very subtle and they're very satisfying to operate. They're not just a button, you know, just a protrusion to the case. It's, it's more fluid and uh, just, yeah, more fluid, I guess just works great so as we're watching that orange chronograph hand spin around and we're watching there's no running seconds on this so you're going to watch that go around and then it's going to keep track of the uh the minutes here on this sub dial at the nine and then of course at the three o'clock sub dial you just have an indicator letting you know if you're in the 12 or tw you know it's a 24 hour hand so you know if you're am or pm and the date cutout is at six o'clock and i know that's one thing that a lot of people may dislike on some of the Mecha Quartz movements is there's no running seconds. Well, I mean, you could just run the chronograph. Just hit go. Let it run. Whatever. It might wear out your battery faster, but who cares? You unscrew the case back, put a new battery in it, you're good to go again. Not a big deal. So, um, I also think these are limited edition. At least on the case back here, there's an indication of that when it's numbered. Uh, where's that? right down there this is number 007 of 500 now this is supposed to be a prototype or at least a sample so but it looks like it's near production level you have a kind of a black or gunmetal polished brushed what is that just a gunmetal finished satinish handset that kind of ties in really nice with the black background sub dials have a little pop of color whether it's the hand over here at the 24 hour or the splash of orange in intervals on the counter subdial there. I like their logo, nice heavy applied indices there. So we're gonna have some decent loom on this guy as well. Just an overall really clean design. And I like their simple packaging they use. And this was kind of fun. They did like a uh, newspaper release thing. Uh, I hope they do this going forward. I really like this format. It's just, it's simple. It's probably pretty affordable to print, and it gives you all of the information and their design cues of what they, uh, how they came up with it. Uh, all the specs are right there, which all checked out. You know, yeah, right there, FKM rubber. I wasn't sure if it was, and it's grade two titanium. And there's the three colorways. So there's a salmon dial one. Of course, this is printed in black and white, but there's a salmon dial one because salmon's hot right now. 
There's the white dial one, and then of course this black one that I have here. I'm not sure if I would go towards the white because I'm assuming I haven't talked to Travis at depth about it, but he did give me this one for doing the video. So I'm assuming that's going to be the same arrangement after this video airs and they go to production that I will get a production model of my choosing. So I'm not sure if I'll go with the white one or the black one. I'm not really sure because the black one is actually pretty cool. A little bit of information about the team. Travis, he's an airline par uh, pilot, commercial airline pilot. So that's pretty cool. He needs a good watch. And uh, that's it. So I think that's really cool. And I'll, like I said, I'll put a link down below to the website. But we're seeing some really good things from this brand for sure. This thing's a full loom dial. This is crazy. So I'll do another video on this one now that I have the production model. But man, this thing's really cool. And again, all titanium. So let me pop this chronograph on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And then we'll check the loom. We'll do the reset. I really love these. FKM and vulcanized rubber straps, guys. It's other than a bracelet, I think this would would be my next preference. That or a nice leather strap. But perfect size, absolute perfect size for my seven and a quarter inch wrist, and I'm sure it would work for a lot of other people. Titanium is going to wear uh, obviously lighter, so you're going to be able to get away with. Traditionally, if you don't wear a 42 millimeter watch, you know it's only 42 by 49 essentially so it's a decent size watch but I would say even down to six and a half inch wrist you're still gonna be able to wear this no problem because it's light and it just especially if you go with the uh, the black case like this it, it, it diminishes its profile on wrist for sure it, this is a really nice package guys killer watch all right so let's let's Kill the chronograph and let's reset it. So you can see the mecha quartz in, in operation. So this is where the mechanical side of a quartz chronograph comes into play. Ready? One, two, three, and snap. It just quick snaps back into place. Let's kill the lights, check the loom on this. And of course we have the full loom dial in the background showing off. And there we go. It looks like a really nice healthy application of BGW9. Well done. Travis and the team over at our RZE. Keep it up, man. You guys are doing some killer watches. I'll see you guys in the next vid.